Hey everyone, Mr. Shaft here to take a look at finding the axis of symmetry and vertex of a quadratic function in vertex form. So if you look down here at the green, we're reminded of the formula and how to find the vertex. The vertex is simply, this is the x value and this is the y value. That's why we call this vertex form, because it's very easy to find the vertex. So if we were to ask ourselves, you know, what would the vertex be of this quadratic equation up here? Um, the value that's currently in this x spot is 4, and the value that's currently in the y spot is negative 2. But you have to be super careful. Because there's a negative sign built into the vertex form right here, because there's a negative sign built into the formula, the value that you want to call x in your vertex actually needs to have its sign reversed. So because it is a plus 4 in parentheses, we're actually going to use a negative 4 as the x value. If we did another problem, exactly like this one, but there was a negative 4 in parentheses this time instead of a positive 4, our vertex would actually be at positive 4 comma negative 2. Because the value of the x right here, or the h if we use the vertex form, this value needs to have its sign switched and reversed when you're finding the vertex, okay? We're actually going to prove why that is when we study transformations in the next video, next playlist. Um, so this is the vertex. The vertex would be negative 4 comma negative 2. So if I asked you what the axis of symmetry would be, it's actually a very easy question to answer because you already have the vertex. The axis of symmetry is simply the x value of the vertex. It's this number negative 4 right here. So the axis of symmetry is going to be the line x equals negative 4. And that's how you find the AOS and the vertex of a quadratic in vertex form.